hey, hey, it's Michael from agiletraining.co.uk and today in our new tutorial we're gonna talk about the dashboards because believe me, you know, this is like in my opinion one of the most underestimated function, you know, functionality in Jira. It is great, you know, and I'm telling you if you are a scrum master or manager, dashboards should be or probably will be in like top two like, yeah really top two actually features of Jira top two or top three features why because you know it, it is like a like a cockpit of your of your airplane you know so you're gonna see all information across maybe multiple projects maybe multiple components maybe maybe you know you're gonna configure it as you want and and specifically for your projects on top of it why it also is so 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 important to use proper use actually dashboard is you can share it with other team members yeah so very important especially if you've got like, some small team let's say i don't know maybe 10 people and only five developers and we've got a few managers and managers should look at the same data same about developers you know so one of the big advantages of dashboards you can actually create multiple dashboards yes of course do not go too crazy because i know especially like i remember when i was uh just discovering i just like created in one day so like i don't know 20 20 25 30 dashboards and next day i was like wow what is going on what is this so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to do it quickly and also a few examples like you know real real life examples i'm going to show you like my um my way how to how to do it also i'm going to show you how to convert a filter gadget into the dashboard super quiz like less than three clicks about about three clicks all right so let's do it all right so now let's actually create our dashboard and also i'm good this i've got this actually filter over here so don't worry you know we we we, we can have a dedicated uh tutorial a little bit about about more advanced uh, jql filters but before we're gonna start creating the dashboard let's do one let's be clear about one important thing because you know it's it's actually a very simple process you're just gonna uh navigate to the right hand side and go to the as i call it minimal and create that so simple, super simple process however yeah, i've got these questions a few times sometimes people won't actually see this this option so there will be no option actually to create that but what does it mean it means basically the administrator locked down that capacity so you not will be able to unfortunately to create your own diapers that is possible i've seen this a few times but normally 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 especially if it's like your instance uh, maybe you've got a cloud uh, your very own free cloud version that will be absolutely no problem and by the way I'm using server, but doesn't really matter in a, uh, a cloud. It's a very, very same process. So you can easily replicate it. So let's do it. Let's actually create our dashboard. So uh, I'm navig going to navigate to the middle, as I said, and I'm going to call it dashboard for uh, yeah, dashboard for uh, Python dev team. Okay, and we can we're gonna start actually from blank. And also, this is actually what I told you before about uh, sharing the dashboard with, for instance, a project or you can group or or could be could be probably be careful actually with that one. But like, if for instance you want to share with a project, very simple. We're just gonna select this one. I've got this actually uh, Python. And again, you know, it could be just developers, just administrators, or all. And of course, you know, do not forget to hit that add button otherwise you know will be problem people if you keep calling me saying you know why we 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 still unable to see the projects because you know you you yes you selected the uh, uh, parameters but you haven't actually hit that plus button okay so let's add it let's start from very blank one and now we can actually start adding gadgets very simple process uh so load all gadgets and again you know it's like kind of no wrong or right way to do that because it could be something completely customized so but i'm gonna just give you my uh personal preference so always you know i always like to see what is going on so i'm gonna add activities i'm gonna go for assigned i'm gonna also go for favorite and the filter results and maybe pie chart you know because pie chart is uh, kind of important 
to me okay and my advice is do not go too crazy with with, with the gadget because i remember for, especially first time i've been like i think like i don't know 20 30 it's just not going to work and and up to this four or five uh in a row i would say it's like almost max well first you know if you've got more data yes why not okay let's stop it so now you're gonna start selecting a uh, filter so i've got some you know, uh, 17 unassigned over here we've got filter filter results so filter is what's actually very very important because as you can see i'm gonna uh five days status change after five days and this is actually one of the most powerful like most common use uh gadget because you get it actually also could be highly configured as you can see you can go for edit and maybe you want to add i don't know uh, some kind of due date you know some kind of like more information so uh very 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 important like i, I use it all the all the all the time okay okay filter a favorite filter is going to go on the right hand side again this one is super super important because as i told you in the beginning that were basically oh it's all a filter <laughs> so you can actually see the results of your filters and when you hit hit your button over here it will just going to point you to the navigator and also we've got our assigned to me very important to me so i'm going to put it on the right hand side this one is also going to refresh automatically but by the way very important option so you don't have to hit f5 every single time the gadget will just refresh automatically and look at this you know like less than five minutes we've got pretty decent configuration of the of the gadgets obviously you can experiment with that you can add some colors you know you can change the layout you can discover this yourself but now i just want to show you one more super cool uh function which is like a little bit hidden in my opinion uh if we go to the filters because that gadgets, gadgets are the filters and i've got this actually i used that before so don't worry you now i can actually give you the uh jql but i'm looking for a status which hasn't been changed for more than five days so this is very important for for me as a scrum master so i know those two issues as you can see hasn't been updated for a long time and they are sits in a select for development status so obviously it's just for one project we can be added to multiple projects uh as i said we gonna have a dedicated lesson about the about the filters but look at this now if i would like to convert it into my filter for instance filter results how to do it from this section we go for export uh, dashboard chart and now i'm going to use it basically i've got the filter results but i would like to say maybe a pie chart yeah and again it's going to be the issue so mm, not super let's say relevant for this uh, but this is just just to show you how you can do it you know so that was super quick I'm, I'm trying to make it in less than 10 minutes okay i think that is gonna be it uh, please leave a comment what do you think maybe you want to see something else about jira maybe another tutorials uh hit a like if you like it dislike if you do not like it and i hope i'm gonna see you in the next tutorial thank you so much